Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 10 mathematics. Today I am here to discuss with you about the three topics. The three topics are first one, deleted syllabus for Karnataka State Board Examination of the year 2021-22. Coming to second topic, what is your question paper pattern? And the third topic is expected blueprint from each chapter. Okay, let's begin here. Mathematics deleted deleted topics for the academic year 2021-22. Karnataka State Board Karnataka State Board Examination In mathematics we have two parts part 1 and part 2 From part 1 textbook Chapter number 8 Chapter number 8 Real numbers is deleted Complete chapter is deleted. Coming to part 2 textbook. Yeah, chapter 9. Polynomials is deleted. And next 14th chapter. Probability. Probability. The three complete chapters are deleted for this year. Karnataka State Board Examination. That is 2000. 21-22 academic year. Other than these three chapters, is there any topic deleted? Yes. Coming to one chapter, that is chapter 13, statistics. Statistics. Chapter is not deleted. One problem also not deleted from this chapter. But in this chapter, finding mean we have three methods. Those are finding mean. We have three methods. That is direct method, direct method, assumed mean method, and step deviation method. Step deviation method. In statistics, in order to calculate mean for a given data, we can calculate mean by using these three methods. The three methods are direct method, assumed mean method, step deviation method. But for this academic year, these two methods are deleted. So each and every problem from your textbook is there for the examination. Those problems we can find by using direct method. Okay. Finding mean by only one method. Direct method is there for this academic year. Only the methods are deleted. And make sure that no single problem is deleted from this chapter. Only finding the methods. Two methods are deleted. No problem is deleted from this chapter. So, complete chapters, only these three are deleted. And coming to statistics, two methods are deleted, but chapter is not deleted. Whereas, we used to find mean, median, mode, ogives, everything, every content there for the examination. Okay, is this clear? Coming to your next topic, what is the question paper pattern for Karnataka State Board 2021-22 Mathematics Examination? So, last year we have MCQ pattern but that is not repeated this year. So, your paper pattern will be like this. So, let's see here. Uh, it will be having first main with MCQ based questions. How many questions will be there? Eight. Each question marks I am writing here. Each question carries one mark. So this is number of questions you can imagine. This is mark. Total eight into one, eight marks. Right? Coming to your second main. Second main 
वन मार्क क्वेश्चन विल बी देर सेकेंड मेन वन मार्क क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी विल बी एट क्वेश्चन एट नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन ईच कैर इज वन मार्क टोटल एट इंटू वन एट मार्क्स राइट सो इन दिस ओनली वन ऑप्शन यू आर गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट सेकेंड मेन वन मार्क क्वेश्चन देर आर एट क्वेश्चन विल बी आस फॉर यू ईच कैर इज वन मार्क दैट इज एट इंटू वन एट मार्क्स इन दिस मेन यू कैन आंसर द क्वेश्चन either by single line or only one word okay coming to your third main two mark questions there will be eight number of questions each carries two marks eight two sa 16 marks fourth main fourth main three mark questions will be there there are nine number of questions will be there Each carries three marks. Nine threes are twenty-seven marks. Fifth main, fifth main, four mark questions will be asked. There are four number of questions will be asked. Each carries four marks. Four fours are sixteen marks. And coming to your last main, five mark questions. There is only one question asked in this. One question carries five mark. That is five into one will be five marks. Okay, let us add all this. Eight plus eight sixteen. Sixteen plus sixteen thirty two. Thirty two plus twenty seven it will be fifty nine. Fifty nine plus sixteen will be seventy five. Seventy five plus five will be eighty. So your mathematics question paper carries eighty marks for. external so your complete question paper contains six mains first main mcq questions eight questions will be there each carries one mark total eight marks and second main one mark questions eight will be there each carries one mark eight into one eight marks third main two mark questions there are eight questions will be asked for you eight two is a 16 marks Fourth main three mark questions nine three mark question will be given so nine three is a twenty seven marks fifth main four mark questions four four mark questions will be given four four is a sixteen marks sixth main five mark question only one will be asked one into five it will be five marks total eighty marks so what you are going to attempt in the board examination the total score is eighty marks. But mathematics will be for hundred marks. Then what about the twenty marks? So complete mathematics, complete mathematics score is hundred. How you are going to get hundred marks? Internally you are going to get twenty marks, and external marks, external mark will be eighty. What the question paper pattern I have discussed there you are going to get eighty marks. This is internal marks twenty, and the total is hundred marks. So mathematics total, how many marks you are going to attempt this year? Hundred marks. Question paper will be eighty marks, and you are going to get internally in school you are going to get twenty marks. So eighty plus twenty it will be hundred marks. This is all about your question paper pattern. Let's see the third concept for today. That is expected blueprint. Actually, from Karnataka State Board, we did not get any blueprint. So, according to our vision, according to our vision, from past five years, what we have seen and what are all the expected questions from each and every question paper, by sorting out those question papers, we have done a blueprint. So, we can expect this type of blueprint for this year, 2021 and 22 academic year. So let's see this question paper. So you can see all the chapters which are there for your mathematics, arithmetic progressions, triangles, pair of linear equations into variables, circles, areas related to circles, constructions, coordinate geometry, quadratic equations, introduction to trigonometry, some applications of trigonometry, statistics, surface areas, and volumes. Now let me start discussing from each and every chapter. Let's move to the first chapter, arithmetic progressions. In this chapter, we can expect 
one mark one question you can see here m and q i have written this is mark and this is the number of questions we can expect in the paper one mark one question will be asked that is either in mcq or one word question you may get one question two marks two questions will be asked four marks one question so total one one so one two two so four four one so four so that will be 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 1, 9 marks we can expect for arithmetic progression. Second chapter triangle as we all know that from this chapter one theorem is compulsory that may be for 4 marks or 5 marks. So let us decide it for 5 marks. Uh, let us take in our blueprint for 5 marks. 5 marks one question and one MCQ or one word but they may give you. Suppose if the theorem came for 4 marks, then we can expect one 2 marks question in triangles. Okay. So total uh, 1 and 5, 1 plus 5 will be 6 marks will be given for this chapter. Coming to third chapter, pair of linear equations in two variables. In this chapter, we can expect 1 mark 2 questions, 2 marks 1 question, 4 marks 1 question. And what are all the questions also you can guess. Uh, suppose the ratios they may ask you in one mark. And they may ask you two equations find x value or y value. That is also in one word they may ask you. Coming to your two marks question. They will give you any two equations solve in any of the method of your choice or their choice. And coming to four marks question. It is compulsory graphical method of solving the equations it will be. So total it will be 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2 will be 8 marks for pair of linear equations. Fourth chapter circles. From this chapter again we can expect one compulsory theorem that is for 3 marks. So 3 marks one theorem either one MCQ or one word question they may ask you. So, 3 plus 1 will be 4 marks. And coming to your fifth chapter, as according to last year's syllabus, this chapter is not there. But this year, the chapter is included. So, from this chapter, we can expect two questions. One is for 1 mark and another is for 2 mark. So, 2 plus 1, it will be 3 marks. Coming to your next chapter, chapter number 6, Constructions. In this chapter, we can expect 2 marks 1 construction, 3 marks 1 construction, 4 marks also 1 construction. So, total how many marks here? 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 9. Chapter number 7, coordinate geometry. In this chapter, we can expect 1 mark 2 questions, 2 marks 1 question, 3 marks 1 question. So, 4 questions will be asked in this and the total mark is 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2 will be 7 marks. Observe here quadratic equation and introduction to trigonometry is also having same weightage. Let us see here. 1 mark, 2 questions will be asked. 2 marks, 1 question. 3 marks, 1 question for quadratic equations. Total it will be 7 marks. And your next chapter, introduction to trigonometry. In this 1 mark, 2 questions will be asked. 2 marks 1 question, 3 marks 1 question. So it will be total 4 questions will be asked. Total 7 marks. 12th chapter, some applications of trigonometry. In this chapter, only one question we can expect. That is for 3 marks. So 3 into 1, it will be 3 marks. Coming to next chapter, statistics. 13th chapter is statistics. In this compulsory two questions will be asked for three marks. How many two questions pakka for three marks? That is three twos are six marks. And one one word question or MCQ they may ask you. Right? Total it will be seven marks. Coming to your last chapter that is chapter 15 surface areas and volumes. In this we can expect all marks questions. That is 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark, 4 mark. In each main, we may expect one question. So, total how many marks will be there here? 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 
So 10 marks highest weightage we can expect for surface areas and volumes this year according to my vision. Right? So let's add all this now. 9 plus 6 it will be 15, 15 plus 8 23, 23 plus 4 27, 27 plus 3 30, 39, 46, 53, 60, 63, 70 plus 10 it will be 80. So total 80 marks blueprint is this one. So observe carefully. So little marks variation may be there. But according to my vision and uh, comparing previous model question papers, what the board have realized, we have prepared this. So this blueprint is total for 80 marks. 80 marks weightage blueprint is this one. So little variation may be there. But according to my vision from previous years knowledge, I have prepared this. So let us follow accordingly. So do prepare properly children. All the best for your examination. This is just the blueprint. Right. So in our next video I am going to provide you. What is the timetable you can plan for the upcoming state level preparatory examination for Karnataka board. It is already announced. The preparatories will be starting from 21st of February. Right. So within that, what is the schedule we are going to take and what is the timetable we can plan to complete mathematics syllabus. So in the next video, we are going to see that. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.